that our ABC Channel 13 home here on Bissonette actually inspired the design of the eighth wonder of the world, the Houston Astrodome. On the end, when station leaders gathered for our TV station's groundbreaking, was Channel 13 co-owner and then Houston Mayor Judge Roy Hoffines and his daughter, Deanie. Houston architect Herman Lloyd was hired to design a state-of-the-art television station of tomorrow, today. We open to the public November 20th, 1961. This is KTRK-TV, the station of the future. The lobby and the main offices overlook a beautifully landscaped patio complete with palm trees and, yes, a pool. From this garden, with its palms and grass and flowers, we invite you to enter the eastern side of the building, the entrance to the executive offices. Through the door, we see the brightly shining hallways. The lobby is a room designed for the public, where visitors may be directed to the various areas of this large building. But the creme de la creme of the building, its domed roof, housing not one, but two full-size television studios. Here is what is regarded as one of the finest pair of telecasting studios in the world. A studio with one of the finest lighting installations in the world, enabling our crews to use lighting effects never before seen in this area, providing a glassed-in viewing room for the public and clients. A studio control room with revolutionary new electronic equipment for both video and audio control. And this building will stand as a promise to you to bring the best in this fascinating business of television. Channel 13's dome design fascinated Judge Hoffines. He had just secured a professional baseball franchise for Houston and dreamed of building the team a new indoor stadium. Hoffines reached out to Herman Lloyd to build his new stadium. And if you look up at the ceiling here at our Channel 13 News studio, you'll see the same basic steel girder design that later went into Hoffine's new stadium, the Astrodome, better known as the eighth wonder of the world. The dome featured clear glass panels so grass could grow on the playing field. <laughs> Only one problem which quickly became evident in the first game between the Astros and the New York Yankees. Both the and the Yankees, when a fly ball was hit, between the girders, the glass, and the sun, the outfielders lost sight of the ball. As a result, the clear glass was painted over, and the loss of real grass on the field led to the creation of AstroTurf. And one interesting footnote, Judge Hoffines originally called his baseball team the Code 45. Suit by the Colt 45 Firearms Company, Judge Hoffine changed the name of the team to the Houston Astros. Had the team been able to keep the name Colt 45s, the building might have been known as the Colt Dome, not the Astro Dome. Just imagine. I'm Dave Ward. Tell me that.